hi and welcome to this video uh, we'll be simulating a turtle bot 3 in gazebo and we'll be using pid control to um, make it move from a start position to a goal position so the start and the goal positions will be so the start position will be random and the goal position will be decided by the user okay and uh, so beginning with the running of the code uh, you just source the setup dot c shell file if you if you are using bash you just use dot bash then you export the model of the total word 3 then you use ROS launch name of your package and the name of your launch file so in this case we are going to launch uh, empty world with just the total word 3 underscore waffle in it and it will be at 0 comma 0 and all of its um, like your pitch roll everything will be 0 you can see this here okay and the name is total bot 3 underscore raffle using control windows left key we just move it to the left side of our window and now we open a new terminal we source our setup dot c shell file and then we use ros run command to execute our python script so our python script is in the package named control underscore bot so if you go in files catkin workspace source folder this is the name of our package so this package will be available in the description of this video on github and you just open this package you have a folder named scripts here which has the uh, final.py script these two were the scripts that I used to develop the code this is the source folder and inside the source folder we also have a final.py <laughs> but we are going to use the one in the scripts okay so it's a good practice to keep the Python scripts in the scripts folder and not inside SRC okay so then beginning with uh, execution after you have sourced this setup dot shell you just do ros run enter okay and then it asks you for the lower range for generating x and y so just give it a one give it a three it gives you two random points okay so the turtle bot will be spawned at 2.7 comma 1.6 then you enter the lower range for the angle so suppose i want the angle between 20 and 40 okay so a random value will be generated and that value will be converted into radians so the value that you see here 0.46 that is in radians so we get the initial pose that is displayed here in the terminal we enter the final position suppose i want it to go to 5 comma 7 final angle position I also give it in degrees and that should be 137 okay so we see that the turtle bot has magically spawned at the position that the random position that was generated and now it is moving towards the goal mm -hmm. so what did we give as the goal 5,7 I don't remember yeah 5 comma 7 comma 137 so if we look here this is our gb which corresponds to x y z okay so our total bot is moving towards 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so our total bot should stop here ideally at 137 degrees so 137 degrees when converted to radians is 2.39 okay hmm perfect so we see that the current position and rotation are 5,7,2.44 which is pretty close to 2.39 okay so now we move towards the code part we just close this thing uh, okay so just press ctrl c and ctrl z okay you come out of it let this run then we look at the code god bless sublime text 
so first you import all the models you define the proportional integral and the derivative gains so we have two things we have two PID controllers running here one is for the distance one is for the angle so the distance is calculated using x comma y right so both the x comma y are set using the distance and for the angle we have the second PID controller okay so you set these gains here then you make a class called go to point and uh, what have you done here you initialize this node and um, you make this publisher you define the rate 10 Hertz then you get the like you get the like the pose from the odom topic and this is the try accept thing for like in case you have any errors it can display these messages in your terminal so when you do oops no we got the odom uh, like the odometry reading here not there we got the position and the angle about the z axis using this line then we move on and we calculate the goal distance so the goal distance is basically the error okay so it is the error for the distance and when we have this while loop as long as distance is more than 0 0.05 which is about 5 centimeters pretty like um, pretty good for a turtle board especially the waffle and then inside while we have this command to get the position and rotation we do position dot x position dot y get the start and like the start coordinate 6 comma y then we have the path angle so like uh, we had goal distance which was the error for distance path angle is the error for angle so what it does is it does it just calculates the 8 and 2 so this is the angle between the positive x-axis and the line connecting the start and the goal okay so this is the error for the angle mm -hmm. then we have this if else the, these if else conditions okay so like they just uh, like kind of orient the board if uh, your path angle is like more less than minus 45 or more than 45 degrees then you just do minus 2 pi plus that angle take okay, to like kind of get it in a suitable range then you have the PID in this part hmm? so what do we do we need three uh, like terms right for to generate our control signal distance we have two control signal of course control signal angle also so we multiply the proportional gain proportional derivative gain sorry proportional controller gain kp with the error okay the error is the distance we multiply the integral controller gain with the total distance so total distance this thing this was defined to be zero here but it increases with every iteration okay so what do we add here we add the error which is the distance so as long as there is error total distance will keep on increasing with each with each iteration so it is kind of integration okay so and then we are left with kd underscore distance multiplied by diff distance so what is diff distance it is the change change of error okay so distance minus previous distance okay so previous distance was defined to be zero and here after all this is done distance becomes previous distance and then we get a new distance okay so this is the term like the change of error which is multiplied with the derivative controller gain kd okay 
So similarly, we have the same thing for the angle. And then, yeah, we have this command. So why do we have min here? Because sometimes the control signal can generate a big value. Okay. So we don't want a very big value which a turtle bot cannot handle. So we choose a minimum of these two things. Hmm? And similarly, the same thing here. And then what do we do? So this is for like displaying the position and the rotation while it is running inside the while loop and this is when it is outside the while loop cool and then this is to adjust the angle you must have noticed that once it, once it reached there then it adjusted its angle so this is this is because that was because of this part of code and then we have these two functions get key get order home, shut down so they were like um, I think I took them from some some repository I found yeah and now the other part so mm, yeah what do we have here we just take the input from the user we generate random values, we store them in a numpy array, okay. So like whatever the value that the user gave, they were stored, no sorry, they were not stored. Uh, we ge first generated random values between those two values that the user gave and we stored that random value in angle, similarly for the x comma y. We just gave the chord 0 to x and chord 1 to y and then generated one thing like one array using np.concatenate. So initial position is a numpy array which has x initial position 0, y is initial position 1 and at the second index we have the angle. So this is our pose. Okay. So initial position is a numpy array which has the pose of our initial pose initial pose of our total board three. Hmm. Then we have uh, you enter the final exposition, final y, final angle. Okay. So we make a list out of it. Then yeah. Then in order to spawn the turtle board at the initial position we have this part of code so what do we do here we just convert the angle we had to a quaternion and give that quaternion values to x y z w okay and initial position x comma y initial position 0 had x initial comma position 1 had y these are given to x comma y so the magic that you saw there when the turtle bot was spawned magically like in an instant it was like you see that uh, instant transmission uh, teleportation yeah so that was because of this code okay huh. and yeah that's pretty much it while not raspa is shut down we do go to point cool so in case you make any changes okay so all you have to do is save this file like mm, if i make any change what do you have to do i'll tell you uh, suppose we have reached here okay and we want to add a smiley here so you just add a smiley oops just had a smiley, okay. Mm, also had a happy face. Mm. Okay, so you we changed our code. You just control S, save it. You go here, look at can make. Okay. And then just run your file. I'm assuming you already made it executable. Like 
you just need to do that once not every time you change the code but yeah so the same story again okay so it will be spawned at that position and then it will move so when the goal is reached we will see that change we entered 5,5 .5, right yeah see we got the smileys congrats so just press control plus c control plus z control plus c and thank you so much for watching i hope this video helps you and you are able to apply turtle you are able to apply pid on a turtle bot 3 thanks for watching have a good day